Commonwealth's first passenger rail excursion is closer to becoming a reality in the Star City. The Virginia Transportation Museum recently received a two and a half mile stretch of track known as the Roanoke Beltline as a donation from Norfolk Southern. And WSL's Tenza Rachel Lucas joins us. She is now live at the uh, site. So Rachel, they've made a lot of progress on the uh, renovation over there. They certainly have, John. And today I walked along these rails with the Virginia Museum of Transportation's director. He was showing me some of the work that they've been doing to cut down the brush and clear the way. Now they will be walking every step of the two and a half mile of tracks to see what type of renovations that need to be done to once again make this rail fully operational. Now cleaned up, the potential for the Roanoke Beltline that is set unused for years can begin to be seen. There's really nothing like this in the Commonwealth. Really makes us pleased that it's in Roanoke. It's the number one attraction rail fans have asked for. After 40 years of dreaming, Beverly Fitzpatrick says now that the track is locally owned, the possibilities are endless. So much emphasis is on outside now, and this parallels the Greenway. Uh, we're even talking about getting some pedal powered cars that you could sit on the rails and pedal to Bridge Street and turn around and come back because that's the kind of thing people enjoy today. Since taking ownership of the rails, Fitzpatrick says VMT has also received a donation from AEP's recently closed Glenland power plant of an engine that could be used for the excursion as well as passenger cars. They, along with the track, will need expensive renovations. In all, the cost is estimated between $500 and $750,000. We have to replace a trestle. That's a quarter of a million dollars. We have to make sure that this is safe. We want to make sure that we follow all federal and state guidelines. To help with renovations, they've begun purchasing used equipment for the job from Norfolk Southern, like this crane, as it becomes available. This just adds another little thing that we can do to get rail fans to come stay and run up. Another attraction to bring in tourists and added money to the museum, local businesses, and the Roanoke Valley.